Hey, you guys, and welcome to Book Haul Monday, where there's a book haul every Monday while supplies last. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I have a lot of books to show you, so I won't be going into details, really, and I'll be linking all the books that I mentioned down below. They're Goodreads links, so you guys can go check them out if you guys want to know more. But these have been accumulations, besides, like, my birthday hauls, which I'll link down below, which should probably be already be up by the time this goes up. Um, these are from, like probably like December to like February because I didn't really buy books in March all the books that I acquired in March I believe that weren't well there are a few Kindle ones but all those ones are on in my birthday haul so check that out so these are mostly from book outlet <laughs> I'm not gonna lie except for the first four that I have to show you and yeah let's get started with those four first so the first one that I got I was so excited about was Inferno by Dan Brown um, this was given to me by Bunny from Bunny Kate's whose channels I will link down below and she was giving away these books and she let me look through them and I'm so so happy because my copy had water damage I haven't read it yet but I was so disappointed because I had pre-ordered it and it was just somewhere it shouldn't have been and damage so so tragic and then she gave me book two and three of the woodcutter si sister series and that is hero and dearest this is book two this is book three and sorry the wind was blowing like all the boxes and stuff over there <laughs> creep me out <laughs> um so um enchanted is the first one and i have been meaning to get to it so hopefully I'll be buying that soon because I haven't bought it yet but now I have an excuse to so and then I'll be reading this series hopefully this year and then for review I got from James from In Reluctant whose channel I will of course link below and of course if you guys have the annotations on you will have been seeing like all the channels I mentioned annotations links there too I got Under the Mountains by James Aguirre Junior. It says, Welcome to West Virginia. There are dark secrets here, secrets hidden under the mountains. So it's about this boy, and of course, he lives in a small town and he wants to leave. But then in his town, he discovers the secrets of dark creatures and fairy. And I'm just really excited to get to this one. Hopefully, this will be the next book that I read. I'm currently reading Hemlock Grove. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, then on to the books from Book Outlet. I make quite a few orders like the first one one of the ones i made during february i believe because i got this one during the sale and i mainly made the order because i really wanted the beyonders box set by brandon mule and i finally gave in and i finally bought it because it's been on my wish list forever and i keep seeing the box set go in and out in and out you guys know that way and i was like if it's still there during the sale then i will totally get it um and this is book one a world without heroes beyonders um series and then seeds of rebellion is book two and then book three is chasing the prophecy so hopefully if i end up loving these books then i'll get some other brand new you know, books because they had a few other ones on there and it says by reading these words you have nominated yourself to recover the key word move swiftly the knowledge you now possess marks you for prompt execution the first syllable is a so this in this in intrigues me so I'm really looking forward to getting to that and then in that same order because a lot of these were just like two dollars and less I got um, the game trilogy finally it's been on my wish list for a while we have game we have buzz and we have bubble and look look I'm so glad I got these editions because they got newer editions on there these ones were cheaper anyway and I like these covers um, so I decided to finally go with these ones and it's about this guy and he is on a subway or something and he picks up like this a phone um, when it rings and it the person online talk like on the other side call, invites him to play this game that of course he thinks is all fun and games until it turns deadly so looking forward to that as well it's been on my list forever i know i'm bad about hey i'm not gonna buy any new series until i read the ones i have that are unread yeah mm -hmm. and also in that order i got um artemis awakening by jan linfield and look at that i love this it has like some it has like an Eden type scientific type thing going on in this book so I'm looking forward to that and also well I don't know 
why I'm doing this by order but this is like the other book that I got in the same order and it's the transcriptionist by Ailey Rowland another book that I've had forever that never quite made it into my checkout court so I'm really looking forward to this one it's about some person that like takes down all this stuff like transcriptions and she finds out a secret I believe so that's gonna be interesting and then uh, different order. I got Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matheson, which has a story of why I have two of these because one of these um, is stuck. The cover is stuck. It, it ain't coming off. Like I, I seem to have this problem a lot <laughs> on Book Outlet. I don't know why it keeps happening to me, but it did happen and I was so upset and, I w and it wasn't a scratch and dent. So I was like, no, and not having it. So they gave me a new copy. And even though it was ripped, I let it go because it's still not worse. Than having something stuck on there okay like come on now people come on and then after that I got Simpri and um, Simpri Redemption by J.M. Darrenhauer it's like this mafia uh, new adult type romance type thing so that's gonna be interesting I've heard good things about it and then I finally got Far Far Away by Tar McNeil in a small town where nothing ever happens. Everything is about to change. I believe I got this in that order where everything was like really low except for the box set because it was like only 99 cents. There is a strange and faithful tale of a boy, a girl, and an ancient ghost. And I love the fact that the cover does this. It's like see-through and stuff except for like the synopsis plot right here and I believe the author's information on the back. So that's, that's really cool. I keep taking it off. I keep playing with it. I have a problem. <laughs> and then uh, the next book that I got is The Philosopher Kings by Joel Walton, which is a sequel to The Jess City, which I still haven't read The Jess City, but hey, I figured I was going to like it. So, And then I got uh, Harmony Black by Craig Schaefer. And this I won from Goodreads, and I actually own a Kindle copy because I bought the Kindle copy. Um, and it, she's always run from her magical abilities, but now she needs them more than ever. So hopefully, I'll be getting to this book soon. Seems interesting. And then I got Broken Monsters by Lauren Bukes, and I recently got The Shining Girls by her. It's like down here somewhere but this one is about a ser another serial killer because I believe the first one was too <laughs> and they're not they're both standalones but this serial killer like cuts his victims in half and ties like a deer to them and leaves them for the FBI to follow some creepy stuff going down there but I'm really looking forward to finding what it's all about and then I got Half a War by Joe Amber Comby which is book three in the Half a King series, I guess. I'm not sure what the series is called. This is the second book, Half a World. Look at beautiful, side by side. First one, Half a King, is somewhere over there. And I haven't read it yet, but it is on my immediate TBR pile. So I'll be hopefully be getting to that sometime soon. That's going to be your official place for now. <laughs> and then I got Marina by Carlos Ruiz Zafron. And I actually have the Shadow of the Wind series by him. But I have really been looking forward to reading this one as well. And it was finally on Book Outlet. And I was finally making an order when it was on Book Outlet. So I'm really excited. Um, when 15-year-old Oscar Drea suddenly vanishes from his boarding school in Barcelona, no one knows his where is about for seven days and seven nights. So this is a, like a gothic tale thing. And I'm really, really, really looking forward to that book. So then I finally got... You by Caroline and Kepnes. I kept going back and forth on whether or not I was going to get it, but I feel like I really like this book, so I decided just to go ahead and chance it. Um, a lot of you have probably heard about this by now, but it's about this person, I guess, and she is being stalked by somebody. And I've heard like one or two like really bad reviews, but the majority seems to love it. Although I've heard like really, there's apparently a sequel in that one. That one hasn't been going great. <laughs> You're going to be so sorry when you realize what you made me do. The good news is that I have no regrets. Is that creepy? I feel like I got like a lot of creepy books. <laughs> Just like, hmm. So anyway, the next book that I have was Shirley Jackson, Let Me Tell You New Stories, Essays, and Other Writings, which I'm really excited about. And it comes with a ribbon. You guys, you have, I, re I really loved, we have always lived in the castle. And I actually got Geraldine this for her birthday. And then I saw it on Book Outlet like just a couple of months after and it had just came out not too long ago so I was like oh my god yes I need to get this because I was wanting it I'm so excited um and then got some books from Amazon <laughs> um, 
Of course I did. Of course I did. Um, the first book that I got is Promise of Blood by Brian McKellen. The Age of Kings is Dead and I have killed it. I actually have a Kindle copy as well because I have a Kindle buying problem even when I don't have my Kindle with me. Um, but I actually had seen this on Book Outlet for a while and then when I thought I was going to buy it, it was no longer there. So then I put it off and then I saw like it in paperback and I was going to buy it then. But then by the time I, made, I was making an order, it was no longer, they were no longer there and it was like the whole trilogy I think or at least the first two books so I finally just gave in bought a used on Amazon and I'm so excited to finally get around to it and then I have The Queen of Turling by Erica Johansson I read like the first hundred pages 30% into the Kindle um and then I was like I didn't get any further yet but I'm really looking forward to reading more of it so I bought the physical copy because I was like yes I can have this beautiful thing now <laughs> and then from bookmooch.com I finally gave into some books that I've been wanting and the first one I got was Jim Butcher's First Lord Fury book six of the Codex Allure series so I've been meaning to read the series for a while but then by the time I was finally gonna buy it like the first book was no longer in hardcover and that one is Fury's a Codron book one of the Kodak Solara series so I decided just finally my hand that I'll get two books two through six in hardcover and if if a miracle happens and I ever come across book one in hardcover then I'll get it but until then I really want to start the series I love Jim Putcher so there we go and then the last thing that I have to show you you guys okay I can bring can kind of blame this purchase I bought it for myself for my birthday okay number one so that can tell you that I splurged quite a bit um Tony from Tony Lynn I believe that's her channel name and how you pronounce it I'll be of course it'd be right here in the annotations and of course down below really love watching her she recently got um one of the heirloom collections and I've been eyeing that collection they have like different different books in that collection of course they have box sets of them um but the one box that i always wanted like i wanted to buy it during christmas and they didn't have it anymore like it was out of stock and it was only going to cost like 80 dollars or more to like even get like a decent editions of them in like good condition like new condition and stuff like that like hundreds of dollars so disappointed but then i checked again when she <laughs> was hauling her one of hers and I saw like mine and I only had one in stock and I was just like nope I'm gonna have to get it and I the one I got was the Sherlock Holmes collection four volumes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle look at that look at this it is so heavy you guys oh, look at they have some quotes on the sides come Watson come the game is afoot look at that look at that look at that and then we open it right here it's like magnetized oh so heavy and then the first thing you'll see is this and then you're gonna open it some more and then it comes out like that so I'm gonna put this down while I take out the books because otherwise heaviness so the first book looks like this and then these are the pages and of course it comes with a ribbon as well and these are the books that in this edition back here this volume and then I have volume two these are the pages of course look at it so beautiful now the box itself um, it was kind of damaged um, but I figured I just wow my beautiful book you're okay <laughs> but I figured I would just let the box damage go because I couldn't really return it or and get a new one because when they packaged it they didn't package it like the best so I know why that like all those marks happen but I was like I wanted it I got it and I love these editions so I'm just just gonna let it go just gonna let it go you know sometimes I look at it and I'm like Although one of the books had like little wrinkles on like the dust thing. I don't know, even know how you do that, but whatever. So these, all the books that I got, well not all those, but I just love it. And I just want to hold it and look at it and touch it some more. Because I'm really looking forward to reading some Sherlock Holmes. Um, yeah, so you guys let me know down below. Um which books you guys have gotten in recently what was your favorite book of this year that you bought or that you read or anything and I will see you guys later 
as I find places for all these books and I actually have more book hauls but they're not really like um anything too special because I have like I bought some children's books like last year towards the end of the year that I meant to haul since then so I'll just do like a special children's books edition if you guys actually want to watch that or not and then a romance one because my friend gave me like a pick of like all these romance novels and even while I try not to go a little crazy I I'm going a little crazy <laughs> yeah so those will be in their own hauls and I will see you guys later bye